Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over my top 5 city of tweaks. Now that there's a jailbreak for all devices on the most recent firmware, let's just go ahead and take a look at some of my favorites. To start us off with, we actually have a combination of two tweaks. So the first one is Infinity Dock. So as you guys can see here, on my dock I can scroll through here, through as many icons as I want. I have seven here, but you could add uh, quite a few more. So there's that, but there's also a combination of Overflow. Now Overflow is what gives you this nice little cover flow effect. So as you guys can see here as I scroll, kind of gives a nice little effect. You see the little icon appear and whatnot. Now these are very customizable. So for example, as you guys can see here, I have five icons uh, that you can see at one time and there are seven overall. However, you can customize this however you want. You can do two, three, five, ten, <laughs> you know, whatever you feel like works best for you. Now Infinity Dock and Overflow each will cost you one dollar. So it's a little bit pricey just to kind of get you guys a nice looking dock. But in my opinion, I think it looks well worth the price. The second tweak is probably something that a lot of longtime jailbreakers will know, and it is SB Settings. Now SB Settings has probably been my favorite jailbreak tweak for a couple of years now, and it's really simple to know why. So what it allows you to do, of course, is now in the uh, notification center on iOS 5 is it allows you to get access to all kinds of very important system toggles. So for example I could turn on airplane mode, um, I can turn it off and get quick access to brightness so if I want I can you know mess with that. Uh, you have uh, access to all your data, you can turn off the location services, uh, you can go through and see what apps are running, free them up, you can turn on and off SH, SH, Wi-Fi, etc, etc. And if you scroll over here you have a couple of options, you see a little bit about your IP address, disk, free RAM, you can also go ahead and respring or to reboot, etc, etc. So SB settings, in my opinion, is a must have and it is free Insidia. Now this next tweak, while admittedly a little bit geeky, is definitely very, very useful for a jailbroken device. It is called iFile and what it allows you to do is go through your entire file system on your device. Uh, now there are a couple of reasons why you would want this. So the first one is, and this is really helpful for me, is when there's some kind of new theme or tweak or whatnot, and it's actually not Insidia and you need to install it manually, iFile can help you kind of get a good idea of where you need to put it and whatnot. And on top of that, this is also really helpful if you're having an issue. So sometimes there may be some problem with your device. Uh, so for example, there may be some kind of corrupt system file or what have you. And ordinarily, you're going to have to try to install SHSH and go through, get a client on your computer and try to set it up right. And that may or may not work. However, with iFile, for example, if there's some kind of problem or issue or whatever, a lot of times you can just open this up and fix it. Uh, now this is free. So I recommend if you have a jailbroken device, go ahead and get it. Even if you never really use it, just have it there in case you need it. Uh, but beyond that, you can pay for it if you do really enjoy it. Now this next tweak is probably one of my favorites that I've seen in a long time, and it is called Zephyr. Now Zephyr allows you to multitask really simply and really easily. So for example, ordinarily, you know, if you want to uh, multitask, you have to double tap the home button, scroll through your apps, whatnot. It's kind of a little bit of a pain. However, with Zephyr, all I need to do is swipe to the right, and there we go, I'm in the next application. Same thing goes if I want to do it again. So keep going, I can go into Cydia. Now this is really, really nice. As you guys can see here, it's very smooth, very fluid. It does take uh, maybe like a half second, maybe one second before you can do the next thing as it loads, but it's about the same lag as if you were actually, you know, multitasking and whatnot, and it's really cool. Uh, on top of that, you can also customize, so for example, if you want to do one finger, you want to do two fingers or whatever, make sure you don't accidentally do it. And now there's another feature, and it actually just came out in an update the other night, and it allows you to actually close apps just by swiping up. As you guys can see there, if I go ahead and just open up iFi, again I can be doing whatever I want you know multitasking etc etc swipe across and if I'm done and just go whew, and I'm done so Zephyr is an absolutely awesome tweak I highly recommend you pick it up it is three dollars so it's a little bit pricey but in my opinion it's worth every cent of that last but certainly not least we have Dreamboard. now Dreamboard, if you guys have been jailbroken for a while is very similar to Winterboard, but on crack so if I open it up here, you guys will be able to see it will open up a launcher. Now I only have the two themes installed. Uh, you can install many, many more just like with Winterboard. Let me give you guys a little example of what a theme is like. So as you guys can see here, that quickly, that simply, we are now running a very similar uh, theme to Android. Uh, so you can scroll through all your different apps and whatnot. We can go through all our programs, of course, just being our apps. Uh, so let's just say we want to open up Compass. And we can see that And if we hit the Home button. It will bring us right back here. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool stuff here. For example, I can turn on animated weather, uh, change our background wallpaper. So if we want to change it over here, as you guys can see here, it runs really nice, really smoothly, just like you would expect a normal, you know, iOS app to run. And let's say we're done with it. We can go ahead and tap this right here, 
and then come over here and it will bring us right back to our iOS or indeed if you wanted to switch to a different theme. So Dreamboard is free and if you're interested in customizing your device, it's definitely the ultimate. It's very simple and very easy and I think it's just really an awesome tweak to have. That's going to be about it for my top five Cydia tweaks. I'm very curious to know though, how about you guys? What's your top five list? Definitely be sure to leave that in the comment section below and if you'd like to see more, of course you can take a look and share them with everyone else in the comments. And before I go, I do want to mention that if you're interested in this wallpaper, indeed any of my others that I usually upload, feel free to check it out. I will have a link in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more jailbreaking content like this, be sure to subscribe.